In today's video, we'll compare the new carbon fiber Hagen drone reeds to his previous plastic tongue model, as well as a set of easy drone reeds. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. So Mr. Jimmy Dews at Hagen Reeds has just recently sent me a set of these carbon fiber tongued drone reeds. They're quite similar in construction to his previous reeds, which you'll see, boom, right up here. And I wanted to see how these sounded in three different sets of pipes compared to both his original reed, as well as a set of easy drone reeds with an inverted bass, one of the more common types of reeds on the market that many beginners are playing. In all of these tests, we'll be using the same pipe channer, a 2005 Shepherd Blackwood channer with a Shepherd pipe channer reed. And we'll be testing these carbon fiber reeds, his original reeds, and those easy drones in three sets of drones, the first of which being my Ronnie Heen pipes. And if you need to learn more about those, boom, video up there or link in the description. We'll also be hearing these in a set of McCallum P2, their acetal or plastic model drones, as well as my 2018 Peter Henderson Heritage model Blackwood drones. The McCallum plastic pipes are actually in the same bag as the Heen pipes. The stocks are identically sized. The, I don't have to change a bit of the hemp from one to another. They fit just fine. So the bag on the Heen pipes as well as the McCallums will be a sheepskin Ronnie Heen bag. And on the Henderson pipes, it's going to be a goatskin Lee and Sons bag. So there is a different material in the Henderson pipe, but goatskin and sheepskin are quite, quite similar. Certainly more similar than, say, a synthetic bag would be to, say, a sheepskin bag. But I got to make sure all the parts fit together, so I'm doing the best I can here, people. And in all of these tests, I used the tune Scotland the Brave. I kind of randomly choose if I'm going to do the high hand or low hand version. I ended up playing nine times, so I don't know. I guess I wanted some variety. And for the recording, there is a bit of EQ on all of the sets, but I promise you they're exactly the same. I am not changing one single variable on any set from one to another to try to give us the best, most accurate representation of how each of these pipes sound as best as I can, well, generate over the internet here for you. Let's get on to hearing how these sound.
Now let's try cutting back and forth between the same set of reeds in three different brands of pipes. Now let's take the Henderson set of drones and cut between each of the three sets of reeds so it sounds hopefully like one recording and we can hear kind of next to each other how each of these reeds sound. Let's do that same idea now with the McCallum Polypenco plastic pipes. Now let's do that with the heme pipes. There you go, that's about all the ways I can think to splice this footage together. I wanna to hear from you now. Which set of reeds did you like in which set of pipes? And a lot of it will have to do with the speakers you're listening to it through. So if you really want to vary this up, listen to it through some headphones, listen to those recordings through your computer speakers, and if you can throw it up on a TV, listen to it through that. You might be surprised at exactly how different the same recording can sound. I don't have a mastering studio here to make it absolutely perfect. I'm doing the best I can, but I think this gives you a good representation of the general sound quality of these reeds. So there you go. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you got something out of the video, please think about giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. If you're enjoying these videos, the best way you can help support me and this channel is through my Patreon. You'll see names now, folks scrolling up. These are folks that support the channel on a monthly basis. I'd love to add your name to this list. Really, these videos wouldn't be possible without all these fine folks, so thank you so much and consider joining. I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see right here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet. I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of bagpipe merchandise like this mug you see right here, as well as t-shirts and this lovely poster over here that shows you every Highland bagpipe ornament and how it's timed and played. So consider heading over to the merch store and commanding your bagpipe. Well, thanks again for listening, everybody. I'm Matt Willis, and until next time, cheers. <laughs>